Hey everybody, this is Jim Anthony and this is a CBT micro nugget on Salesforce content versus Salesforce knowledge. What's the difference? Well, let's jump right in and find out. If you go to the Salesforce success community or the help and training section and you do a search on the differences between content and knowledge, it's going to bring you to this URL. And when you get there, you're going to find a very interesting and helpful chart. It looks something like this. And the chart does a pretty good job of breaking down the difference between content and knowledge. And so let's take a moment to break down the, the differences between these two very important features of Salesforce. Let's start with the purpose of each of these. And I want you to bear with me for a second because I'm going to give you a few things about each one of them. And pretty much most of what I tell you is not 100% true. It's like 70, 80% true. But when you add them all together, you'll get a very clear picture of when to use content and when and where to use knowledge. So bear with me for a minute and let's run down a few of these differences. For example, for the most part, when we talk about content, we're talking about information that we're going to share with coworkers. For the most part, when we talk about knowledge, we're talking about information that's going to be shared with customers. Now, both of those statements could be used in the reverse. You can use content and share it with customers, and you can share knowledge with, with coworkers. But in a minute, you'll see the big picture. One thing I do like about this is I think the word content and the word knowledge is a very appropriate term. When you think of content, you think of data, you think of documents, you think of information. When you think of knowledge, you think of wisdom, you think of knowing, you think of something that a customer needs to run their business better. So when you think of content, just think of all those documents and PDFs and Excel spreadsheets and PowerPoints that you need to store somewhere and you need to manage them. But when you think of knowledge, think of customers that have a business problem and they're trying to find answers and they're trying to find solutions. They're trying to find knowledge, not just information, but knowledge. That's a pretty good distinction between these two. When you think of content, think of storing and managing a bunch of documents that you want everybody to have access to. But when you think of knowledge, think of finding and sharing, can't write very well, information that's going to help customers solve problems. Okay, now let me give you another one of those sort of kind of almost fully but not quite true <laughs> comparisons between these two things. When you think of content, we talk about delivering content to coworkers and customers or whoever needs that, that information. When we think about knowledge, we think about finding and viewing these articles, this information. We want to make knowledge available to customers to solve problems. We want to be able to package and deliver content to people to be able to collaborate and share and do the things we do with that information. Another distinction there that helps separate the two. And now to further break this down and make this even more unclear, let's come down here to common uses and talk about the different ways we can use these features. When we think about content, think about creating and copying and modifying sales presentation or documents or spreadsheets or whatever at first so only you can see it and then you can work on it. And then when you're ready, you're going to publish that so that everybody else in your company can use it and then or access it or do things, you know, collaborate on it. But then when you're ready, you're going to be able to create a content pack and then deliver it to customers. And then compare that with the world of Salesforce knowledge where we create, we write and we edit and we publish these articles. And then we have different tabs within the Salesforce knowledge application, the articles management tab and the articles tab. And what we're doing is we're, we're publishing articles to those tabs and then we're giving customers and partners access to those articles via a customer portal or a partner portal or the service cloud or just an online public knowledge base. So again, we're creating knowledge and we're just giving access to everybody via a portal. Whereas over here, we're creating and modifying and collaborating on documents and then we're sharing it within our company and then if we want to, we can create these content packs and we can then deliver it outside the company to customers. So to summarize this and break it down just a little more cleanly, we can look at it this way. 
When you think about content, think about internal users and sharing data and PDFs and Excel spreadsheets and PowerPoints, and then that content gets attached to objects like accounts and contacts and opportunities. When you think of knowledge, think of external use, think of a service you're providing to customers via the cases object type, and you're attaching knowledge articles and solutions to cases so customers can access that, that knowledge to help them solve business problems. When you think of content, think of storing and managing documents and information for your team to use. And then if you want to, you can package it up and send it to a customer. When you think of knowledge, think of putting articles out there on the web for people to find and that you're providing knowledge and wisdom and information to customers. What you will notice when you look in the help forum in the success communities, when you see articles published about content, you're going to see them attached to the sales cloud within Salesforce. When you see articles published about knowledge, you're going to see them attached to the service cloud. Like if you go into those training videos, you're going to see it's going to fall under these categories. So it gives you a good idea of how these were intended to be used. When you're creating content records versus knowledge records, very similar. You have content types that are different based on the fields that are included on those page layouts. And in knowledge, you have article types that are different based on the fields in their page layouts. When you think about content, you think about creating information and delivering it to customers. When you think about knowledge, you think about different channels by which customers access that information. The customer portal, partner portal, or the, or, or the public knowledge base. When you think about content, you create libraries and you create packs and then you deliver them to customers or coworkers. When you think of knowledge, you break all that knowledge down into categories and groups so that they're easy to find. And one question came up about workspaces. Workspace is basically just an old term that back in spring of, I think it was the spring version of 2012, they got rid of the workspace term altogether. And basically, libraries is the term we use now to organize content within Salesforce. And then the last, I think, helpful distinction is that when you set up and implement content in Salesforce, it's pretty easy to do. An admin just has to go in and configure the organization, configure all the information, and just enable it to be accessed. But knowledge is a very different thing. To, to implement knowledge, it's a big beast. It's a big project. You have to plan out and analyze what you're trying to do and, and design the knowledge database and build it and validate it and then deploy it because you're putting this huge database knowledge base of information out for the whole world to see. So you want to make sure it's formatted the way you want it formatted and that it includes the content you want and it's done extremely well because it's going to be the company's face to the rest of the world. So implementing knowledge is a very different program and project than implementing content. And that's going to do it for today. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.